What's up, YouTube? I'm Mike, and today I'm back with uh, part two of the marathon vlog that has been running today. I can I couldn't believe we yammered for an hour on the first one. I guess I should be able to believe it. Right now I'm playing Diablo 4 and about to go to the gym. So I will see if I can get some gym footage maybe that I can just talk over um, the fucking music that YouTube will ding me for. We'll see what we can get. What's up, Paul? Hello. This is my son, Paul. I don't, he hasn't made an appearance yet on the vlog. I, ha I made a whole video about you yesterday. Have you heard about it? I made a video titled, I feel like I'm failing as a father, where I explained that we live in a world where if we were Christians, I would feel duty bound to basically make sure your soul was saved by preaching Christ crucified to you. But I can't legally save your soul and your future by giving you steroids at the age of 13. <laughs> Only you could. So I explained in this lengthy video that luckily, like, you're not requesting steroids at this point. Like, you're not trying to get them, but that it's really hard for me as a father, you know, when I'm going to the gym all enhanced and you're going to the gym and you're, you know, you're making progress. Your body's definitely changing. See? Look at those biceps. Damn, baby, that's great. Like, your body's definitely changing, uh, but I want, oh, damn, but I want to see you, like, morph the way I did, and it's really hard for me to resist the temptation, you know, and I, I said in the video, like, I'm not trying to give it to him, but I, you know, like, you've heard me talking about it, like, obviously my worldview is that a day natty is a day wasted, obviously 13 is super young, yeah. but anyway, that, that's what I was talking about, so this is Paul, now you guys have seen the bicep growth, I'm sure he'll be making more appearances on the family vlog. Except he's always in his room playing video games, so he's usually locked away from the rest of us. Yeah. So, how are you feeling about the gym so far? Uh, going to the gym is great. Working out, out at home sucks. Oh, yeah. I was saying that I didn't think that was going to go very well. I'm going to keep doing it. It's just not as good as going to the gym. Yeah. It's too bad. I was kind of hoping the other night when we were at the hospital, when I was when I was complaining about the the gym thing, I had this delusional thought process that maybe Grandpa would be like, "How about I come pick him up a couple of days a week, and he and I could go to the gym together?" Because yeah, that's how deluded I was. Grandpa needs to get his fucking old ass in the gym anyway. You know, it's like halfway. You know, it's ten bucks a month for him to go. Y'all could both go to the gym. Oh, you know what I was thinking? Oh, you're going to love this. So I got an email. I got an email from Planet Fitness today. And they're doing the uh, they're doing the teen summer again. So it's, for, it's technically for 14-year-olds to like 18-year-olds. And they can – typically they're not allowed or something. They're, I guess they can work out for free or they can – They can work out with somebody without an adult. They can work out without adults. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm asking. Yeah, I know they can because I've seen them up there in the summer. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is that w with this influx of young kids being in the gym, they're never going to know he's not 14. So what we might be able to do is take him up there during the day, scan him in, drop him off. That'd be badass. Yeah. Like we could take advantage of the fact that they're not going to know who's in there. And so we could, we could, get, him, we could get him lifting during the day and uh, just come back and pick him up. You think they're not going to notice? I think they don't give I think they're not going to give a shit. You know, that's what I think. It's a half, yeah, it's half a year difference. Like, why would, why would they care? They're not going to, these people are, they, they don't pay attention to shit. They have, they have uh, hand sanitizing machines that go broken for weeks. Like, they're all fucking stoned out anyway. They don't know what the fuck's going on. People at Legends left, let me lift at 11. Yeah. That's what we should probably try to do this summer is take them up, take them up there, drop them during the day and come back and, you know, let them work, let them lift for a week. We, I mean, what's worst case scenario? They're going to tell us we can't do it. You know what I mean? Worst case scenario, they're going to be like, hey, y'all have to stay here with them. And then they love us. They don't care. Yeah. We'll look into it. We'll, First. Yeah. We'll look into it, dude. Let's see if we can get you back in the gym. Perfect. All right.
there's no homeless encampment today. We live in a gated, we live in a gated community six miles, or excuse me, six minutes from this Planet Fitness. And meanwhile, there's usually like 10 homeless people uh, camped out in front of the building. So that's a win for fucking zoning. So this is gonna be my post-workout meal. I had red beans and rice for dinner, and then a bunch of other stuff that I can't even remember. Um, this is four ounces of cooked chicken breast. Technically, it's 4.01 ounces of cooked chicken breast, because I know be that, there'll be that one asshole in the comments that, well, actually, bro, that said 4.01 ounces. And uh, as you can see, I've cut this very finely because I cannot be bothered with chewing. Uh, meat. I find it to be uh, really annoying. It's probably because I still have PTSD 
from my bad teeth that I had the majority of my life. Um, <clears throat> to this, we're going to add two full cups of, uh, this is pasta salad, Betty Crocker's pasta salad. So, Sarah, do you have your phone? Can you give me the calories in four ounces of cooked chicken breast? Can you look that up, please? Yeah. <clears throat> this is actually not called pasta salad. It's called Betty Crocker's, well, suddenly pasta salad. I was close. Um, I believe the serving size is a three, oh, it's three quarters of a cup prepared. So what's the math on this? I have two cups, what, what, three quarters of a cup prepared. I have two cups. So you have... <clears throat> two and two thirds. Two and two thirds servings. Our math is phenomenal. Two two servings would be five hundred calories, twelve grams of protein, eighty grams of carbs. Uh, so this is a hefty one. So we've got twelve grams of uh, eighty. Is that really right? Yeah. It's, it's definitely more than two servings. Um, sixteen. Sixteen point one eight ounces total. What do you got? 168 calories. Protein. How much protein is all I really care about? Oh, I'm so sorry. 33. 33 grams of protein plus 12 grams of protein. 45 grams of protein. Look at that fast math. Uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, 80 grams of carbs and whatever I just said, 45 grams of protein, 500, 600, 670 some odd calories is what we're working with post-workout. Of course, I'm also going to have a Dr. Pepper to go with this, so that's going to push the calories up a little bit higher, and then I'll probably drink the end of my protein water. I only drank half of it in the gym, so there was 10 grams of protein in my protein water, and I'm going to get another 10 grams, so it's going to be a total of about uh, 55 grams of protein in this complete combined meal. How was your, uh, your workout? It was great. I enjoyed it very much. How do you feel when people tell you, tell you that... Um, the biggest reason that they watch our vlogs is to look for your pictures of your boobies. Biggest reason I watch them too. <laughs> See, that's that shit right there. All right, well, Hi. we'll check back. Oh, paid a lot. Of, we paid a lot of money for these. Yeah. Enjoy. Let's get close up. Whoa. Uh oh, we got a close up of your acne. We're we're okay. doing we're doing an acne experiment right now. That's very unorthodox, and I think it's working. Um, but we're going to see if it, if it does prove to work, then I'll talk about it on my channel. I'm not, she's already mentioned it on her channel. I'm not going to mention. Mike said only four people have heard about it. Yeah. And she mentioned it on her channel, but only four people watched the video. If I mention it on my channel, 400 idiots will go out and do what we're testing right now. <laughs> and I'm not going to be responsible for like 400 people getting skin burns or God knows what, because what we're doing right now to try to cure her acne is asinine to say the least. Uh, but I, I think it might be working. Uh, don't jinx us. You can't see it anyway. I definitely think that it's improving, but I'm <clears throat> hesitant to say what's, what's causing the improvement. Do you think we are ever going to get rid of that, no, that dishwasher? I, every Thursday I'm like, oh, I'm just going to put it on the street. And then I'm like, no, he asked me to sell it. I probably should do it. And then it, I don't think about it again until the next Thursday. We should probably sell it. Whatever you can get for it can go to your tag watch. Yeah, my tag. Yeah, so maybe we can get. You know, that's like. Hey, three hundred dollars is like ten percent. We can get three hundred dollars for that. We might be able to get eighty dollars for that thing. It doesn't even work. If it's we broken. can, if we can get somebody to move it out of our house so that I don't have to, that'll be worth it alone. Well, you know, that's probably going to be me anyway. I only lift in the gym. <laughs> If there's lifting to do around the house, I cannot be fucking bothered with that. All right, we'll check back later. So this is what my belly looks like after the gym and after a full day of eating. But this is what it looks like if I let it go. Oh my God, this MK677 is making me pregnant. Look at that. Oh, the burgers are shutting your face. They're making you pregnant. <sighs>
<sighs> I'm like six six months pregnant right here. Get this damn shadow off. After that classy piece of footage, I think we should probably put an end to this. Believe it or not, I'm completely sober right now. I think I just ate so much food and I, I'm really kind of depressed it. because I can't post it. No. Why? Why can't I post it? Just your embarrassing. Oh my God. That's the thing. That's the me farting, that's the embarrassing thing. Yes. Of all the shit I've said and done on this channel, that's where we draw the line. Yeah. Come yes. on, we have to be brutally honest. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes people just fart. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh my God, what a day. Uh, I can't believe, anybody who's still watching this shit... <laughs> You guys are some sick fucks. I gotta tell you. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I just weighed, and I weighed 205.2 pounds. That's that's the part that's not a laughing matter. I was very shocked by that. I thought for sure I was gonna be 207. I mean, I just ate 16 ounces of food, and then and then drank a Dr Pepper on top of that, and I woke up at 202. So an entire day of eating, that's like, oh my God, you know what? I got to check something real quick. I'll be right back. Well, that's crazy. Uh, we have tile floors in our house. What is it? Is that tile? Stone tile? What do you call that? Probably ceramic tile. That's ceramic? I think so. Whatever. It's like, yeah, ceramic tile, I guess. Um, in our house, and they're not level. They're, they're kind of undulated. And so it fucking wreaks havoc with our scale. My son weighed himself today and moved my scale from the from the exact position that I have it. And it changes the fucking weight. So I just re-weighed again. And I'm 206.2. <laughs> I know. But, you know. People in the comments will be like, oh my god, really? This is how you're manipulating your weight? It'll continue to climb. So we'll know for sure. Um... But nevertheless, I finally, um, after much requests, managed to get some gym footage tonight, as you noticed. Um, that will probably never happen again because my wife is very anal. She's very irritable in the gym when I try to get her to record me. No, I am not. Yes. Bullshit. You don't like leaving your machines. I never feel that. I don't it, care that's the thing. It's really inconvenient. Like, the gym we work out with is busy enough that it's, you know, like we went tonight. It's, you know... Sunday there was no one there but generally she could be on the complete other side of the gym and so to try to record footage I, I have tried so many times to do it myself and it just doesn't work and I know people are like get a tripod and I'm forever saying <sighs> why don't you cut just let me know when you're ready I'll just come over and do it yeah but it's a pain like uh, it's a pain then you uh, might it's it just doesn't it doesn't it doesn't make any sense um so that's probably all of the all of the, the workout footage you're likely to see. Um, what else can we talk about to end this shen these shenanigans? How about that hat? How about that hat? We spent at least 30 minutes tonight, the entire family, searching for this hat. Um, we had to go back through the video log of my channel to find out, to make sure the hat was even in the house. The thing is, Mike is always, he loses everything. He never knows where anything is. And so he doesn't ever put anything in the same place. And so we're, this is a regular occurrence. A daily, we're looking for his keys or his hat or his wallet or shoes or whatever it is. Daily. I've gotten better about my keys and my wallet. But my hat was lost because I went into the closet. I was wearing it before we went, before we went out on, on the town yesterday. <laughs> And I went into the closet. I, Sarah has showed on my channel, I think, before. You may notice it in the videos. She has these Gucci, like, little cute little tennis shoes that I got her that have, like, these little crystals all over them. And she noticed the other day that some of the crystals have fallen off. And so we're going to have to go to Gucci and get this remedied. But 
because uh, they were too damn expensive for the crystals to be falling off. That's the whole point of the shoe, is the crystals. And so I was in the closet looking at her shoes, examining how many what the crystals look like, and took my hat off and put it, slid it into the middle of her shoe rack. So, of course, my hat is now someplace that no one in the house would ever think to look to find it, but she did. So, we had narrowed it down by looking at the videos to confirm that I was wearing it while she was in the shower, right before we left. So, we that's how we knew that it was somewhere in the bedroom or the bathroom. And I was like, holy shit, maybe I took it off in the closet somewhere when I went to get dressed to go to AT&T. And so we're both shuffling around in the closet, and there she found it on her shoe rack. When we're looking, Paul was in the middle of a workout, and he's helping look. Allie is like, she comes in, and she's like, Mommy, she, she had ice cream sitting on the table. She's like, Mommy, sh should I be helping with the, find Daddy's hat, or should I be eating my ice cream? She was like, I don't know what to be doing right now. <laughs> she's so <laughs> I don't know if you guys have noticed in these videos that I've been shooting recently. That you can't My breathe? breathing. When I'm at 190, I can breathe perfectly fine. 195, pretty good. Every pound over about 195, at like every pound, I just start getting more and more out of breath. When I was up 214, like it was bad. Um, and I, I'm guessing that's because at 210, I am technically obese. But it's crazy. It's really wild. How, I don't know. It, maybe it's because of all the food in my stomach sitting on my, it's crushing my diaphragm. It's the food baby. The food baby, you think? I, whatever it is, the heavier I get, like, and it's fast. It's not like, it's not like from, from 190 to 210 and I go from not panting to being totally winded. Well, not winded, but I just, I breathe heavily. Just walking across the house, sitting here holding this phone, recording videos. It's ridiculous. Just sitting in it, like watching TV, <clears throat> we listen to you. We are yeah. commenting on it. Oh, that's true. When I was when I was up bigger. Yeah, we're always like, you okay? We're sitting there watching Game of Thrones. And my uh, my brother, <laughs> what? My brother? Where did that come from? My brother's dead. Um, my son uh said, uh, can you breathe all right, Dad, or something? Like in the middle, like in the middle of Game of Thrones blasting, he's commenting on me being completely out of breath, just sitting on the couch. But apparently, I have a clean bill of health, so. <clears throat> no coronary artery disease, no congestive heart failure. I'm just a uh, fat fuck, I guess. Is what it is. What are we gonna do tomorrow? Something exciting. For Memorial Day? Oh yeah, I forgot. It's gonna suck. I mean, but we appreciate all the fallen soldiers. Of course, we appreciate the fallen soldiers. It's just that everywhere you go is a total fucking clusterfuck. It's all gonna be closed early. Thank God we don't like have a boat that we're to, supposed to be taking out. It's the per perfect day to buy a mattress or something. Why is that? Well, they always have Memorial Day sales. At the mattress and, firm, and Memorial mattress Day sale? And, and furniture stores, they always have Memorial Day sales. They think the soldiers need to take a rest? <laughs> so they have mattress and the furniture? of the soldiers. This is for the, the soldiers who have passed away during a war. They died oh. during a war. Wearing the cloth. Wearing the cloth? The cloth of the armed forces of America. What? I know absolutely nothing about our holidays because I fucking despise holidays. I don't celebrate any of them. Um, I, I wish we would just do away with all holidays. No offense to anyone who's celebrated in any particular holiday. I just think that we don't need any fucking holidays at all. I think it's complete horse shit. Um, I, I fucking can't stand it. So I don't know anything about them. Uh, she's constantly having to tell me why it is that stores are closing or traffic is all fucked up or... The lake is fucking full, or why the hardest, kids aren't in school, except now now they're homeschooled. So um, The hardest part is that the gym is closed. Yeah, the gym is closed. Our 24-hour gym is closed. It was for... open on fucking Christmas, wasn't it? It was open it sometime that was Christmas crazy. Eve. There was some point where like, wow, the gym's open? What was that? I think it was open for part of Christmas Eve. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway... As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.